how well do you know Jesus? Here's what I mean. Once someone came to me talking about a close friend of mine, immediately I knew that what they were saying wasn't true. Not because I was there, but because I knew my friend very well. So when I was met with a false representation of them, I could spot it, defend them, and end the gossip. That's what I mean when I say, do you really know Jesus? Just recently, I heard a guy falsely say that Jesus was wealthy and owned a home. This man was trying to sell his services as a financial planner. Never mind that Jesus said foxes have holes, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another guy told me that Jesus was ripped and physically fit in order to carry the cross. This guy was trying to sell me his program as a fitness coach. Never mind that Barabbas had to help him carry the cross, and Isaiah said that he would have a form that none should desire him. These guys did not care about my soul. They wanted my money, and they were banking on the fact that I knew less about Jesus than they did. In reality, they were trading the truth of who Jesus is for a profitable lie. In Matthew, Jesus talked about people like this. Beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep, but are really vicious wolves. On judgment day, many will say to me, Lord, Lord, we prophesied in your name, we cast out demons in your name, and we performed many miracles in your name. But I will reply, I never knew you. Get away from me, you who break God's laws. So how can we avoid being led astray or being deceived? The answer is to truly know Jesus. The Bible says if you seek the Lord, you will find him. But the verse doesn't end there. It all hinges on the rest of the verse. If you seek him with your whole heart. See, when we read the Bible, we have to empty our heart of our own agendas. Because if you read the Bible to find the secrets of health, you'll still die and miss the gospel. If you read it to find loopholes to continue in sin, you'll die in your sin without the gospel. And if you read it to learn the secrets of wealth and prosperity, you'll never be satisfied and still miss the gospel. But if you suspend your notions of who you want Jesus to be and read the four books of the gospel, you will come to know Jesus, how he talks, thinks, works, and loves. You will learn and experience the saving power of Christ, and you would not trade that for anything this world has to offer. In John 10, verse 27, Jesus said this, My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life, and they will never perish. No one can snatch them away from me.